hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix inazuma 11 victory road game black screen issue stuck on black screen freezing problem not loading or stuck on loading screen issue on pc so without wasting a time let's jump to the fixes the first fix is to skip the cutscene skip the cutscene if you are able to launch the game if your game is crashing and not launching, then launch the game again and try to skip the cutscene. It should be your triangle button. It works for many players. You can also try skipping the animation after winning the match. Hope it works for you all. Fix to modify game launch option. So open Steam, go to library, right click on Inazuma 11 Victory Road game and then select properties. Now in the launch option type minus DX12, close the tab and then launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not if that doesn't work then again go to the properties of the game and this time type minus dx11 close the tab and then launch the game and check if it's still not working then again go to the properties and this time remove the command from the launch options and follow other fixes mentioned in this video fix 3 disconnect internet launch the game and then connect your internet and then check so if you're connected to wi-fi then disconnect it and then Launch the game and once you launch the game, then again connect to the internet and then check if your problem is solved or not. Fix 4. Launch the game from game installation folder by running the game boot strapper ESC launcher or NIE game exe file as an admin. So open Steam, go to library, right click on Inazuma 11 Victory Road game and then select manage and then click on browse local files. It will open the game installation folder. Then here right click on game boot strapper exe file and then select run as an administrator. This will launch the game. So see if this works or not. If not, then you can also right click on EAC launcher exe file, select run as administrator. This will again launch the game. If that also doesn't work, then you can right click on NIE exe file. This is the game exe file. And then you can select run as an administrator and see if this helps or not. Fix 5 is to disable NVIDIA graphic card and only use Intel graphic card. So in Windows search type device manager and open it. Now expand the display adapters Then right click on your NVIDIA graphic card driver and then select disable device and then click on yes to confirm and then go ahead launch the game and check. If that doesn't work then right click on your NVIDIA graphic card driver and then enable the device and this time disable the Intel graphic card driver. So right click on the Intel graphic card driver and then select disable device and then click yes to allow. And then go ahead and launch the game and check. Fix 6 is to verify the integrity of game files. So open Steam, go to library, right click on Inazuma 11 Victory Road game and then select properties. Go to the install files tab, then click on verify integrity of game files. And then check if your problem is solved or not. Fix 7 is to run Inazuma 11 Victory Road as an admin. So open Steam, go to library, right click on Inazuma 11 Victory Road game and then click on manage browse local files. It will open the game installation folder. The path is C try program files x86 steam steam apps common Inazuma 11 Victory Road folder. Now right click on NIE exe file and then select properties then go to the compatibility tab tick mark run this program as an administrator hit apply ok and then launch the game from the game installation folder from here itself and check if this work or not fix 8 is to modify the compatibility setting of nie game file so again go to the compatibility tab and then select run this program in compatibility mode for windows 8 hit apply ok then launch the game and check if that doesn't work then from the drop down here select windows 7 hit apply ok then launch the game and check if it's still not working then again go to the compatibility tab and this time select disable full screen optimization option as well and then hit apply ok then launch the game and check now if it still doesn't work then untick all these three boxes then hit apply ok and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video fix 9 is to run easy anti cheat underscore eos underscore setup file so go to the steam go to library then right click on inazuma 11 victory road game and then select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder then open the easy anti cheat folder and then right click on this easy anti cheat underscore eos underscore setup exe file and then select run as administrator 
and then go ahead and launch the game and check if a problem is solved or not. Fix 10 is to allow Inazuma 11 weekly road through the firewall and antivirus program. So in Windows search type Windows security and open it. Then click on virus and threat protection. Then click on manage ransomware protection. Then click on allow an app through control folder access. Click yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app. Then click on browse all apps. Then browse to the game installation folder. You have to browse to C drive, program files, x86, steam, steam app, common, inazuma, 11, victory road folder. Then select this nie.exe file and then click open to add it to the list. Similarly, add EAC launcher as well as game boot strapper exe file as well. Then go back. Then click on firewall and network protection. Then click on allow an app through firewall. Then click on change settings. Then click on allow another app and then click on browse and then browse to the game installation folder. You have to browse to the C drive program files x86 steam steam apps common inazuma 11 victory road folder then select this nie exe file and then click open and then click on add and after adding it make sure both private and public is ticked marked similarly add ec launcher as well as game boot strapper exe file and then click ok to save changes click ok to save changes and then you can go ahead launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not now, if you are using any third-party antivirus programs such as Komodo, Avast, Casper Sky, AVG, McAfee, Norton, Bitdefender, then allow the game exe to your antivirus program as well. Or you can simply disable your antivirus program for a while, then launch the game and check. Later, you can enable your antivirus program. Fix 11 is to update graphic card driver. So, simply in Windows search type device manager and open it. Then expand display adapters, then right click on your NVIDIA graphic card driver and then select update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers and then close this and then go ahead launch the game and check. If that doesn't work then you have to perform a clean installation of graphic card driver. So if you have AMD graphic card driver then go to the AMD website. If you have NVIDIA graphic card driver then go to the NVIDIA website. And if you have Intel graphic card driver, then go to the Intel website. Links are provided in my video description. You have to search and select your correct graphic card driver version and then reinstall the latest version. And then you can go ahead, launch the game and check. I am showing the example of NVIDIA graphic card driver. So go to this NVIDIA website. And once you are on this NVIDIA website, you have to enter your version of graphic card driver over here and then select the Windows operating system and then click on find. Then you have to download and install GeForce Game Ready Driver. So whatever is the latest driver version, you have to download and install it. So click on this view, then click on download. And once this exe file get downloaded, then you have to run the downloaded exe file and select yes to allow and then click OK. You will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. Then select custom advanced option and then click on next. And then tick mark perform a clean installation box, then hit on next. And after the clean installation of graphic card driver is done, restart your PC and then launch the game and check. Fixed well is to install Visual C++ files. So go to this Microsoft website. Link is given in my video description. And once you are on this website, you have to download both the x64 and x86 version. So you have to download both the version. Now install both the version one by one. So first click on x64 version. Now click on this I agree button and then click on install and if you see repair option instead of install button then you can click on repair option and then install it then click on x86 version then click on this i agree button and then click on install if you see install option and if you see repair option then click on repair and install it then just restart your pc once and after your pc restart then go ahead launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not Fixed 13 is to close conflicting or unnecessary programs. So disconnect external USB drive, mouse, disconnect additional joystick controllers, multiple monitor connected to PC, unplug the Logitech or Thrust Master Racing Wheel, and the task for Afterburner, Riva Tuner, HW Info, Razer Synapse, or MSI Dragon Center from Task Manager. Close all of your tabs to free up RAM and then relaunch the game and check. Fix 14 is to update Windows. So go to the Windows settings. On the left, click on Windows Update and then click on check for updates and if there are any updates available then download and install them and then just restart your pc once and after your pc restart then 
go ahead launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not and the last solution is to uninstall and reinstall inazuma 11 victory road game so if nothing seems to work then uninstall inazuma 11 victory road game from your pc then restart your pc and then reinstall the game to c drive ssd drive if already installed in c drive then try installing it to another ssd drive or external ssd drive and then launch the game and check so by these fixes you can easily fix inazuma 11 victory road game black screen issue stuck on black screen freezing problem not loading or stuck on loading screen problem on pc so that's all for this video if this video helped you then please like and subscribe to my channel share this video and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates thank you